whole lineup of famous cartoon characters there. And here's a lineup of one cartoon character who hopefully one day will be just as famous. Remember him? Bones the Cat the cartoon character that we've been creating over the last few weeks. Now I'm just trying to decide on a colour scheme for him and I think it's important that his colour matches his personality. And you know, I think he's got to be very bright but I also like the stripey effect. I think it gives him a sort of comical feel. Now I think he's slightly posh as well. So how's about this very plush velvety purple for his jacket? Do you know? I'm quite pleased with that colour scheme, I think it's pretty good. So okay, you've got your cartoon character, you've named him, but what does he actually do? Well, he could be a cricket umpire. He could be an astronaut. He could be a famous fighter pilot. He could even be a school teacher. Now the truth is, he can be whatever you want him to be if you've invented the character. And do you know what I want Bones to be? I want him to be a private detective. In fact, let me introduce you to Sherlock Bones, the private detective. I think it suits him, don't you? He's sort of very proud and full of himself. I think, though, he is slightly scatty, a sort of bumbling detective. And you know what he needs? He needs an assistant. And I've done him as well. Let me introduce you to Sherlock Bones' assistant, the trusty old man himself, What's Up? And there they are, Sherlock Bones and What's Up. Did you get it? Sherlock Bones and What's Up? Well, they go on their first adventure next week. Watch out for that. <laughs>